Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your month of March of 2024 spiritual advice reading. For the Gemini reading, I've been guided to the Kipper deck. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whoever, whichever Gemini needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of advice for March of 2024. So in the recent past, or at the very beginning of March, we have a Gemini that is dealing with some form of paperwork, signing on the dotted line, commitments, partnerships, or contracts. Thinking about this privileged lady energy, or this is you. Feeling very privileged. In the relationship sector, we've got you in your element, Geminis, with the lover's card. So we have a lot of passion here. We have excitement here. We have a new beginning uh, regarding a commitment, partnership, contract, maybe even a purchase that's making you feel very privileged. Uh, yes. Now in the creative aspects position, we just have this energy of expectation. So in the first half of March, Spirit's just saying, expect uh, what you have signed up for to grow and prosper. Expect that your uh, relationship to another or others uh, is definitely going to uh, grow. There's going to be additional excitement. Expect this excitement uh, to grow as you go into the direction of some form of greater abundance or stability. Now, in the actions position, we have a mature male. So I feel like there is a masculine Gemini here who has grown and, uh, and matured spiritually, emotionally. You could be a feminine uh, Gemini who is thinking about marriage, commitment, partnership uh, with someone who has grown and matured. Uh, yes. Okay, so emotionally, yes, we do have this message of concern energy. We have, uh, whether it's the privileged lady or a mature man, uh, there's just, they're holding on to this paperwork, right? This legal paperwork, and they're expecting the excitement to grow. It's just a process of things unfolding. I'm getting the 14th of March, right around the 14th, and here we have the 15th with the lover's card of Gemini. Excitement growing around mid-month because of, I feel, some form of purchase, or commitment all right subconsciously we have bad health so someone here may just be a bit concerned about the health of this mature male um, expect spirit saying expect a, a positive outcome okay uh, positive thoughts create positive results in the day-to-day -day aspects position we have a wealthy man energy uh, so uh, there is uh, someone here who is in a leadership position. This could have to do with a business. Um, and yeah, there's that's what's making uh, something is growing in the area of business. It also in the month of March. So we have a feminine who's looking at this mature male, taking action to go forward towards a commitment, partnership, contract, or purchase, uh, expecting greater abundance from someone who is this wealthy man energy, or this is you. Now, in the inner strengths position, we do have the marriage card. All right, so we have a privileged lady energy who's thinking about marriage, who's almost expecting uh, growth, success, and uh, a marriage with someone here who may also have Gemini in their chart. Uh, but there's a mature male. Uh, maybe she's just concerned as to when uh, there's going to be a, a devotion towards a greater or deeper commitment. Let's continue. So in a three-card summary, we have toil and labor, main female, and courtship. All right, so yes, this is what I was feeling. So we have someone here, male or female, with the toil and labor card and the beautiful gift card, which has been very popular. So gifts are coming to those who are working hard in the month of March. You may not know this, but Spirit's saying expect this, even if it takes until around the 28th of March. Yes, 
uh, there is some or has been some unexpected income additional money that appears and the family room energy so there could be additional money that involves uh, going into a new home um, with the family room energy traveling into the direction of a new community a brand new path all right and then we have this main female energy and the imprisonment card so someone here is feeling stuck or trapped but spirit saying uh, this is a time of transformation so again I feel like something is unfolding it's just taking until maybe mid to end of March here but spirit saying uh, trust that even more money is going to come all right so that's where this wealthy man energy comes in whether this is you or someone else it's right above the courthouse type energy legal paperwork uh, this could be the purchasing of a home and coming into extra money uh, but we definitely have someone who is uh, feeling very privileged and successful here who's actually tr thinking about marrying this mature male or someone who has matured so there's the house card here we go making changes in the area of home or family moving to a new home yes great fortune when it comes to someone's occupation here and then we have a message of change so an official person if you are buying a home uh, spirits just saying you will receive high honors uh, the main male now who's with this privileged lady energy, uh, that person's going to receive high honors as well. So there's definitely a commitment here, um, a journey beyond despair or uh, bad health. Yeah. So they're saying expect this person to get well if you're worried about uh, someone here. All right. By the end of the month, we have a uh, courtship. We have a masculine thinking about a feminine. So I'm feeling that energy very strongly. The, there could be a child involved or a brand new beginning. And there's just someone here who's a little bit nervous with the poverty card about uh, if they can afford these changes. But again, we've got money in abundance growing. So Spirit's saying we will give you the money you need so that you will uh, come out of this energy of fearing that you're not going to be able to afford something in the month of March. All right, so I'm going to confirm and clarify with the Gilded Tarot Deck by Chiro Marchetti. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for the collective Gemini's March of 2024. Yeah, so I feel like someone is thinking about signing on the dotted line, purchasing something, uh, maybe worried about a change in the area of home, family, or business. But Spirit is saying with the beautiful Seven of Wands, uh, even though you were conflicted about when you could take action, you are overcoming these concerns and a doorway, a physical, metaphorical doorway is going to open up for you. Yeah, so see, this is what I was feeling. In the thoughts position, there is someone here who's crying over spilt milk, uh, not recognizing that there are additional uh, support. There is additional support coming your way. Emotional fulfillment that's going to bring you into this energy of the privileged lady. Um, yeah, so don't cry over spilt milk. Trust that spirit wants to replace these emotional energies of concern. Yeah, in the relationship sector, we have the King of Pentacles energy. So we have someone here who is uh, uh, a provider, uh, someone who wants to care, give, provide, and support you. So fear not. Uh, all is happening as it was meant to. Creatively, yes. So spirit saying expect uh, business changes for the better. Take off that blindfold and acknowledge all the truth of what's unfolding. What you are creating is a beautiful thing. Okay, so Spirit's saying come out of indecision and tr expect uh, things to get better. Uh, an offer from a wealthy man, a mature man, uh, greater abundance uh, is coming in here. Someone who's in a leadership is going to uh, make an offer that's going to open a doorway for you and bring additional excitement. Uh, if you're thinking about a commitment with someone, uh, 
that person is ready to commit to you. So in the actions position, we have the Sagittarius energy of the major arcana, the temperance angel. So the spirit's just saying, uh, take action day to day to prepare uh, to uh, eventually move forward. Uh, because spirit's trying to bring you this ebb and flow energy where there may be some indecision regarding a mature man. Is this person mature enough? Uh, are they ready to support, care, give, provide? Uh, am I ready to move forward with this person? Or will this person offer me the abundance and money uh, that I need to feel this privileged lady energy? Yeah, so emotionally, we have a message of concern and heartache right below the bad health. Uh, so there could just be some subconscious. It's in the subconscious position. It's more about uh, thinking um, about heartache, worry, fear. And that's directly across from that Five of Cups spirit saying you got to think positive. Uh, take off that blindfold and expect things to get better. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of uh, thoughts that... I, this seven of cups to me is feeling like thoughts are all over the place. So spirit saying, you know, balance is a priority right now. Continue to go with the flow and trust through in prayer uh, that uh, whoever you are concerned about, uh, that situation will improve. Uh, but uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. So in the day to day aspects position, we have a wealthy man. Look at this. Just like I was feeling who's going to come towards you and is going to make an offer of money. So you may, may be a bit indecisive about a business or organization, but Spirit is saying uh, give yourself some time. It may very well be around the third or fourth week of March uh, where you come out of this indecision about stay, go, whatever, maybe even asking for more money. There's money is coming. Uh, this is a mature male. This is someone in a leadership position, financially abundant, stable, and secure. So see Spirit saying when it comes to marriage, commitments, partnerships, contracts, you are right at the very end. Uh, the weight you've been carrying in the area of home, family, or business is just about ready to be laid down. And then you can move forward when it comes to marriage, commitment, partnership. So there's someone who's been making a change, uh, moving beyond their circumstances, again, into the direction of a new home or business situation. And Spirit's saying, just go with the flow day to day uh, for eventually, uh, once you get to where you are headed, then you can uh, think about marriage. I feel like somebody is moving and they're not married yet, but marriage is on the mind for some Gemini. So in a three card summary... We have got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So we've got some really exciting, playful energy, exciting, high energy, excitement, like uh, playfulness and excitement. Those are the things Spirit's saying to focus on because Spirit has helped you to manifest wish fulfillment. Whatever you've been working towards or for, uh, Spirit saying your ship is coming in in the form of a new home, marriage, commitment, partnership, and so on. Yeah, it's time for the sadness and the worries and the concerns to fall away. Communication regarding money will come in. And uh, there you are in your element. Look at that. There is going to be uh, a, a lump sum of money, win, inheritance, or a path that is going to grow and prosper. Attention and recognition will come. And then things speed up. So here's this exciting communication showing up unexpectedly. Uh, I'm feeling closer to the third, maybe even the fourth week from now. Uh, but yes, see? There is this working together with another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini for some. Uh, recognizing that the two of you have created this opportunity to move forward. And yeah, there's going to be the ending of one location, circumstance, situation, or home. I'm hearing home location for some. And with the major arcana, well, there's two major arcana. So a big deal around the third going into the fourth week of March. That one path is ending and there's a beautiful portal to a new beginning uh, that is opening up. 
Yes, the ability to leave your worries and fears behind because there is wish fulfillment. Shining like the sun, uh, just being a bit, feeling a bit conflicted about what action steps to take when it comes to a partnership. So someone's making some big decisions here in relation to another person. There's just a little bit of fear or indecision, but the money that you need is coming in. Uh, there eventually will be an opportunity uh, once you move, relocate, or receive this financial abundance to then think about uh, paying for a marriage, wedding, and so on. So by the end of March, there's kind of this awareness that uh, I was hoping for these things to transpire. And here it comes, a gift from the universe and the fool as a major arcana. There's a manifestation of a brand new path happening because it's from the universe. This is meant to be. And Spirit's saying when the time comes, absolutely. Hop, skip and jump and take a risk. There are definitely two people involved here, uh, no matter what sign they are. Uh, both these people have grown and evolved emotionally and are ready for more. The strength to overcome worries and fears regarding um, trust. Mm. So Spirit's saying expect things to unfold beautifully for you. Uh, trust. Uh, that if you think positively in the area of your health or someone else's, uh, those concerns will fade away. All right. Actually, I'm feeling like I should close with the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck by Stacy DeMarco. Closing message, please, for the collective Geminis regarding this circle spread for the month of March of 2024. Yeah, so Spirit's saying you are beautiful. You have grown and you have evolved. And that's why new doorways are opening in the area of home, family, and business for you. Do not cry over spilt milk. Uh, you will feel like this very privileged, beautiful energy. Uh, do not fear the path that lies ahead. As you sit in the void of this number one, right, of a new path in relation to another, there is definitely someone here who does want to care, give, provide, and support you. So gratitude. At some point, I'm feeling around the third week from now, Spirit saying expect uh, to feel more grateful. You're going from I'm fearing the change to I'm very grateful for the change. I'm very grateful and thankful. Oh my gosh, and we got the change card. Oh my gosh, in the actions position. So Spirit's saying we are helping the collective Geminis to overcome worries, fears, and concerns. We are helping them to go with the flow day to day and trust that you have grown and evolved to the point of change, right? Uh, old paths no longer serve you. And that's why we have new beginnings. Now, normally you'd have a new beginnings card with the number one, but I love this deck because it has the number two, meaning that two are coming together to create a new beginning. And even though you have emotional concerns, fears regarding heartache, spirit saying you have attracted this. Okay, the law of attraction has brought you uh, into this new beginning, this direction of a new beginning. And therefore, uh, the happier you get in life, the more the energies of bad health dissipate, right? If you look back to the happiest times in your life, health was probably not a concern then. And it's not supposed to be a concern now because the more you focus on it, the more you could cause your own issues. Okay, so day to day we have nourishment. That is being served up with a wealthy man, uh, someone in a leadership position who is going to uh, bring you an opportunity to step into the direction of a new path that is very nourishing and fulfilling. Spirit saying, when these offers and opportunities, when these doorways open, uh, give gratitude and thanks to Spirit who has helped you to create this new beginning. So in the inner strengths position, we have assessment. Uh, I am laying down what weighs heavy upon me. I'm laying down the planning of change here when it comes to home, family, or business. And now I am assessing marriage, commitment, partnership. 
go with the flow. This person has matured. Uh, they are ready for change as well. And they see you as such a beautiful soul. So reflect on the love of self. It's a time of purity. It's time for uh, the new. We've got a child card over here. And Spirit saying, because you are bringing a beautiful child for some of you into this world, we will provide the stability that you need. Okay, so what you are creating is blossoming in the month, especially the second half of March. And uh, there will then be this beautiful energy of peace. You have grown and now you can surrender your focus and accept uh, that uh, celebrate uh, the doorways that are opening up for you. So should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey or maybe you just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the winter special which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly, I want to say a great big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. If you are interested in donating, I have two links below this video. One is in the form of PayPal and the other is Cash App. Take care and God bless.